you know a while ago I was saying because I'm in the mall right now I'm attending to my my uh, little uh, issue regarding my controller my PS4 controller so, I didn't get to buy one it was too expensive so maybe I'll look online but what I was saying is I was while entering the mall I was going to check for I mean the guard was asking me to open the the trunk no then I realized I said that I don't know I forgot how to open the trunk I was looking for for the trunk button it's a button eh? more of a something you pull is that a button no it's not but uh, yeah I was looking for that eh hindi pala yung trunk pinto pala yun what a boring start for goodness sake <laughs> my point is I was looking for a button for my trunk because this is a different vehicle, you know. I don't know what's, what it's called. <laughs> Generic na name niya. Pero apparently, hindi pala siya, no? no? Hindi siya trunk. I just realized it. So the back of these vehicles, Innova siya, Innova. Toyota Innova. They're not trunks. No. <laughs> they're doors. The way they're, uh, the way their locks are uh, connected. They're doors. So I just have to, if I remember correctly, I only have to unlock the door for that to open. So why would they check? Inside the door, no. It's a different level of of opening. <laughs> this is a boring stuff. I couldn't think of a photo. I could not think of a topic. So now I'm stuck talking about nothing in particular. Here I am on this stretch of road once again. Going on the same old thing. Nobody's here. It's the, it's vacation. I mean, it's vacation season. So is that the reason? Maybe, and it's also not the not the rush hour. Grab it, buddy. What do we talk about when it comes to these things? Kung wala ka talaga mapag-usapan, wala ka magagawa, ano? That's a good topic. For example, the lack lack of people. Where are they all going to right now? Where are they all now? Where are they all hiding? Hmm? Did you are they at home? Yourself, are they on vacation? On the beach? At the beach? Ah, my freaking preposition. My prepositions. Are they at the beach? At? Or is it? Is it at or on? Oh, Nasa. Nasa beach. Nasa. Nasa. Nasa beach. Nasa dita sa Filipino, no? Anyway, are they at the beach? Are they traveling in a different country? I'm just rotting at home and worrying about my controller. That's the full extent of my life. Okay, my controller. <laughs> controller is currently not uh, functioning well, so time to do my. Time to fix it. What a life! What a life! <laughs> This is a boring topic. How can I be stuck talking about these things? Although, it's not that bad. If you... Right now, it's not that bad. It's just this passive problem that I need to, you know, I need to point out all the time. Uh, despite the fact that I'm laughing right now, you know, I'm in a good mood. Meron pa rin stress. Eh, meron pa rin... I don't have connection. Eh, basta all those things. I don't want to go there. I really don't. Because once I start, you know, I don't have a topic, then I'm gonna go there. And then I'm going to start elaborating. I'd rather not open up my life like, like that. 
Because those are the topics that once I listen back to them, so I recorded it, then I started listening to them. Trying to filter out the good, good uh, drive casts from the bad ones or the unideal ones. I'm gonna remove it. But I really don't want to. I don't want to dilute my one. I don't want to talk about it. Two. I don't want to open up myself like that. I'll make it, make it uh, permanent, or make it more. So uh, yung you're going to present it as a, ano, a product, really. And that's another reason. No? You're going to create demand for you're going to say that, oh, I have problems. It's good. Man, I can I'm gonna make money off of that kind of violation. I don't want that. Now I'm talking about it, you know, is that a penguin? I thought it was a penguin, but oh, it's, not, it's a helmet. It's a helmet on the road. It's been crushed. Now it's in pieces. Well, yeah, no, that's no good. I thought it was a penguin because it's colored yellow, uh, white and black. Is that a penguin? It's a tropical country. I mean, it's a penguin on the road. <laughs> hey man, come on. Uh, cars are getting really. Uh, they're getting really. Creative with their driving techniques. When I was younger, people were more creative with their driving techniques. Now, that's no longer the case. They're more rule abiding, if you get my meaning. They're more rule abiding, much, much more. So, when I was younger, the intersection, the main intersection we have there uh, at home, uh, there, we didn't have a traffic light, so you, and there were no policemen then. Okay, nobody was policing the uh, no traffic, traffic aids. I don't know what you call them, uh, traffic police persons. There were no traffic aids then, so it was just a free for all for vehicles. Na abutan ko ngayon. The truth is. When I was learning to drive, I, ex I did I wait 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 did I really experience that when I was learning to drive? I don't remember, but I do remember that that was the case a long time ago. There were no traffic lights, man, so the cars would all be bunched up in the middle, and then you would it's a gridlock in the middle of the intersection, and then cars would just be. You know, maneuvering. There are techniques that you'd learn if you if you've experienced that. You wanna fuck you will you will need to be very vigilant about how uh, how your uh, how the cars beside you are uh, moving, their speed. Because it means you even put a big bill pack. I don't know if that's the correct term. They will very uh, very abruptly accelerate their vehicle from a full stop. Just to be able to squeeze into a to a, a space that opened up because they were because a you know <laughs> the some cars up ahead were able to move. Right? But they would do it really quickly, really abruptly. So you have to watch out for that. mga technique Sudden, really sudden, and then. I think I learned that, eh, no? Mga, those were manual vehicles you would be driving, so... <laughs> it's a different kind of skill. Oh, you incompetent boy, so what you learn from there is, if you have a constant speed, you become very predictable. <laughs> so the cars be beside you, they're able to, to decide if they want to cut you or not. But if you have an abrupt, you're doing abrupt movements, abrupt speeds, uh, you may have to watch out for your aggressive driving. <laughs> oh, really aggressive driving, man. Defensive driving. You're not gonna be able to move in that environment. Dude, you are not, you will be late every day. Defensive driver. Of course, these days, if you're an aggressive driver, I'm gonna get pissed myself. Like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> 
you're going, you're going to cause an accident with your with your aggressive driving. But do, during that time, there were no. I, I mean, if you are too defensive, everybody will be squeezing their vehicle in front of the space, in front of the space you are leaving. In front of you, <laughs> in the space you're leaving in front of you, they will be squeezing their the noses of their vehicles. No, ganon yung mga yare. You can't be too defensive during that time. That's where I learned to. That's when I learned to drive. I think I experienced that. But these days, I doubt that I'll be able to do it. I, I probably will. Pero you need to, you know, you need to. Be, you, know, you need to get accustomed to it again. So it takes a different kind of mindset to be that aggressive. Man. And there were only. It's not a, that big of a road. There were two lanes on each, no? each side. I don't remember. I don't remember. Definitely not like this. No? One, two, three, four, five lanes. They widened, they widened it over time. Why then? It over time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lazy talk. Uh, uh, intersection uh, techniques. Uh, when it's traffic, it even applies when there's traffic. There used to be lots of traffic here before. Heavy traffic going to school in the morning. This is 5 o'clock in the morning, man. You'd wake up 5 o'clock in the morning to get to school. Because of the really heavy traffic. You'd arrive mga you know, just before 6. You didn't do that. You'd arrive around 9. Puta pare. 9 o'clock. Let's say I left around 6. You'd arrive around 8 or 9. Puta. You're late. <laughs> Yun yung dati eh. Puta. Heavy traffic. All along this highway. It's a main thoroughfare. But of course, these days, traffic is substantially lighter. Substantially, I don't think the, I don't think uh, the younger people from a generation, you know, a generation, uh, younger people, generation behind me or in front of me. I don't have any reference. It's not a uh, special. I don't associate it with anything special. But the younger, you know, younger people, not necessarily younger generation. Although I can say that, I guess. I'm supposed to have children now. Puta nga, yeah, there's my issue. Okay, no, no. I don't wanna go there. Pero, those guys, younger people, I don't think they know the kind of traffic that existed before. Heavy traffic talaga, pare. Heavy. Holy fuck, you will not be moving. Nandun ka lang, no? There was an interesting event that happened when I was in prep. Going to school. I was in prep. That was in where the LRT, where the LRT is right, right now. Somebody got run over by a truck. Sumabog siya. The dude exploded. Got run over by a truck. There were tricycle drivers on the road. On the road. They were shouting, hey, hey. Man, I mean, oi, man. Watch out, Gunan. Okay. Got run over. Exploded. That's my memory, you know? I don't, I don't remember if it's accurate. I was in prep. It's too young. But I remember tricycle drivers. I remember the guy exploding. And I also remember Bigas, Rice, uh, exploding too. You know? Scattered all over the place. Where did you learn how to drive? Yeah, I Some guy. Got run over by a truck. Then, also, an earthquake, a really strong earthquake when I was in prep. Dami na yare na Really strong. Dude, what the fuck? Really strong earthquake. I think I was crying then. You know? I, was, I was about to go home. Tapos, oy! I don't know if. Uh, was I about to go home because of the. Because schools were finished or because schools were uh, ended early, you know? Glasses were in there. I remember, but a really strong earthquake. Sobrang lakas. May yaki yata ako na. I don't remember. I don't remember. But I definitely remember crying. 
I mean, there was crying in the vicinity. Someone was crying. It might have been me. That's what I mean. <laughs> Ay, nako. Yung sobrang lakas ng lindol. Nung prep. What Ay, mahina na mga memory ka nun eh. You used to Thing is, fight. when you experience crazy shit, like right now, no? I'm speaking from experience, you forget all the... Parang nawa-wipe out yung mga iba mong experience as well. They lose their... Uh, they lose stuff. And they lose their flavor. They lose their intensity. Dude, what the fuck, man? Somebody parked here and now I have to... Sige na nga, anak ng puta. Sige na to. So my plan is to just be... Uh, what's my plan? For the sake, I give away. Oh, ngayon, they're going to attempt to jog my memory. Because right now, there's this kid riding on a scooter. He's been toying with me so far. Next time I go for a drive, yeah. This is not gonna sound good, no? It's really boring. That's what I predict, but I've been wrong. I've been wrong before. I'm really gonna be boring. Because I don't really like talking about myself to a wide audience. I want it to be, at the very least, I want it to be controlled. I don't, uh, in general, I don't like revealing information about myself. So, ito, there's already a negative uh, beforehand. There's already a negative point to it. These people used to be really young. This must be the entrance, but I need to secure the area first. Anyway, that's life, man. Although not really, Trinity. Oh, I'm parked. Man, that finishes my game. senseless stalking right now. Alright. Next time, next time. What the hell?